Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to talk about some ebooks that I've hauled recently. So these are all the ebooks that I downloaded for free or off of Kindle Unlimited within the past month. So first we're going to talk about the books that I got off of KU. First is Good Game by Madison Fox. I downloaded this obviously because my lovely friend Madison wrote this book and I've heard amazing things about it. This is apparently like a gamer romance situation going on where our hero is like a masked gamer and the heroine Stevie like gets with him when he's like masked or whatever, but then she meets him outside of that game, gaming competition or something like that. Sorry, I'm not well versed in terminology when it comes to video games and stuff. I don't know anything about video games. <laughs> I can play the Wii. I can play Mario Kart on Wii and that's it. <laughs> anyway, um, then she ends up falling for this guy when he's out of his mask, not knowing that they are the, t the same men. I hope to read this fairly soon. I think that it's going to be amazing. I've heard great things from my friends and Madison is just amazing. So I know it's going to be amazing. Another one that I got off of Kindle Unlimited is Take You Down by McKay Marie. My lovely friend McKay over at Oh Hey It's McKay also wrote a book and published it in October. Like two of my friends publishing books in October what even so this one is a rock star romance which y'all know isn't really my vibe i don't really love rock star romances but there are a few exceptions out there in the world there are for the tropes i don't like you know what i mean like i don't love love triangles but there are books that i will definitely reread till my dying day because i have a love triangle in them like it's just i i feel like this is gonna be good this is gonna be good okay i've heard great things about this book from mckay um with her writing process and everything i got to chat with her while she was writing it and I'm very excited to pick this one up. And I also just love the heroine's name is Scarlet and that's my middle name. That was almost gonna be my first name. So I love a heroine with, with that name. I love it. But I think the heroine is like the opening act for the hero and his band and they end up falling for each other. And I think she is the grump and he's the sunshine. Totally, totally looking forward to this. And I'm so happy for you, McKay. I love you so much. I'm so happy people are reading your book. Next is one that was completely like peer pressure from my friends. This is Creepy Court, a monster mall anthology by a bunch of monster romance authors. Okay, um, like almost everyone but me was reading this during the novellathon and reading like stories from it and talking about how bizarre they are. And I was like, okay, I have to get in on this. <laughs> like I have to. Um, so yeah, that's I just have that downloaded for Novellathon and I did not read one of them during Novellathon, but I want to very soon. And I think it might be like taken off of the, off of Amazon, like in the next month or two. So I need to like get going, but like there are like so many stories and apparently they're really thick. I have the Maybon Feast by Sam Costa on my November TBR. So I downloaded it off of Kindle Limited in October to read in November. This is a monster romance novella. It's fairly short about our hero who's like a spider creature or something like that. It's like 50 pages. So I just wanted like a quick novella to have on my Kindle. Next is one that I'm currently reading right now. I've read like the first chapter. This is Lady Venom, Lady Venom, goodness, Takes a Mistress by Cat Blackthorn. This is a vampire romance, but it's sapphic. And that's all I know. It's like 150 pages or something like that. And yeah, I've only read like the prologue, I think, maybe the first chapter. I don't remember, Um, but I look forward to reading more. And the last one for Kindle Unlimited is Forever Crushed by Amber Page. This one just looks so cute. Like it, the cover is giving me like the ultimate fall vibes. I, I love it so much. Ooh, they list the tropes in the description of this book. Like, yes, that's amazing. Okay, so fall vibes, extrovert and introvert, college romance, a woman in STEM, second chance slash long-term crush. There are spicy scenes. There's male mental health representation, witty side characters, a chaotic cat, found family, and it is a part of a standalone series. Oh, there are trigger warnings too. Oh my gosh, I love that. Gaslighting, love bombing, toxic parents, mental abuse, cheating, not between the main characters, depression and anxiety. I feel like this is gonna be a great book for me. I think I'm gonna read this as part of a vlog that's gonna come out in November at some point, hopefully crossing my finger that actually happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, this looks really good and I haven't read a good college romance in a little bit. And the rest of these books I ended up getting for free in October. First is The Vikings Chosen by Quinn. Oh, Loftus, Loftus, Lofist. Oh my, sorry, I'm butchering that. So this is about Princess Aletti and she is a British queen, not queen, sorry, princess. And she ends up accepting the betrothal to a foreign king, um, but she's a little bit upset about this, a little sad about it because she's gonna have to leave 
her country and her family. So it turns out Torben of Clan Hogan, a formidable Viking general, has been commanded to invade and plunder Alette's, Aletti's homeland. But then he ends up discovering that she has hidden talents as a healer and a seer. He learns of an ancient prophecy that links their destines, destinies together in marriage. Ooh. Okay, so it's kind of like a paranormal twist, like a Viking romance. Then is The Devil's Den by Penny D. This is an enemies to lovers mafia romance, the first book in a series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. Nico D. Kaisa, Kaisa, cold, detached, ruthless, and my new husband. I didn't want to marry the despicable Mafia Don, but my father made a deal with the devil, and lucky me, I'm the currency. If I leave, he'll destroy, his, he'll destroy my father's fortune. But if I stay, he'll obliterate my heart. Because of this union, the lines between love and hate are blurred. So blurred. He's a cold-blooded monster with ice in his veins and frost in his heart. But in our bed, Nico burns like wildfire. And in the heat of the night, I forget, I begin to forget why I hate the mobster. I'm trapped in a world... I despise with a man who's too wicked to fall for, yet I can't leave. Maybe if I knew what was coming, it would be easier to run. Expect toucher and die vibes, forced proximity, and all the delicious darkness of a mafia romance. I haven't read a mafia romance in a bit, and I definitely want to. So this one actually looks pretty good, and it has like decent ratings. It has an over four star. It's a 4.5 rating with like over 1500 ratings, so. Next is The Single Dad by Vivian Wood. This is a forbidden billionaire nanny romance. Whenever I just see nanny romance, done. Give it to me now, I love nanny romances. <laughs> this is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Ooh, okay, so our heroine in here used to be a ballerina, but she broke her leg on stage. And then she runs into a tall, dark, and mysterious stranger at a Gala. He's devilishly handsome and oh so delectably Scottish. Kier is looking for a nanny for the summer. He's a single father, too busy, and too rich to take care of his little daughter alone. And she can tell that he wants to be more than just a nanny. And so she tells him yes, but then quickly becomes wrapped up in a murder, a blackmail scheme, and dark secrets. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's another mafia romance? I saw this one, I just thought like, yes, I have to get this one. So this is Piper by Tasha Black. This is an alien, the first book in the Alien Surrogate Agency series. <laughs> this is available off of Kindle Unlimited. So Piper apparently a, has infertility problems that sent her childhood sweetheart into the arms of another woman. Now she's chasing in her credits at the local fertility clinic so she can do the traveling she's always dreamed of. But when the clinic offers her a secret third option, she can't resist. The plan, act as a surrogate for an alien male and have her own fertility restored in exchange. The cat, she and the tall, dark, handsome alien will need to do it the old fashioned way. Okay, he's wealthy, she's poor, he's set in his ways, she longs to travel. The only thing that you agree on, they've both made a terrible mistake. Their pact is simple, convince the staff of Midsummer Center that they're trying their best. They'll go their separate ways when it's over. All they have to do is manage not to fall for each other in the most romantic place in the known universe, where the admin, the staff, and the system's most gifted AI are all working together to make falling in love, or at least in lust, completely irresistible. This sounds so funny. Like, so funny. Next is an anthology. This is Wrap Me Up by a bunch of different authors. So here we have, let's see, Penny Reed, L.H. Causeway, Sierra Simone, Sky Warren, Catherine Cowles, Carly Phillips, Deborah Anastasia, Julie Kent, and K.A. Lindy, where there are just a bunch of holiday novellas. And I've read a few of these authors before, so I just thought that was free and clicked it, downloaded it. And the last one that I ended up downloading for free is Stone Cold by H.B. Jax. This is a paranormal gargoyle romance, and it is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Okay, so I think this is a why choose gargoyle romance, okay? Y'all know me, I keep trying to pick up why I choose romances, thinking that I will finally find one that works for me, but I have yet to do that. So we'll see what I think. It was free. I'm not spending, like I didn't spend any money on it, but like I have it if I want to check it out, if I want to try out another why I choose book, but like, I don't know. Um, I just saw Gargoyle on the cover and downloaded it. I don't even think I realized it was why I choose when I first downloaded it, but it's fine. We're fine. Anyway, so you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a vampire emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.